apo elada. Kodas ti ti apo apo mani. Kini kodas ti Sparta. Yamena itane to to police special. Iema mu ine apo elada. Then ine galos. Alicia, it's in it. I feel very Greek inside. I mean, Mama Muina po el Galia, Baba Muina po elada. So the Greek blood is in me all the. And when I heard, like I was saying, when I heard that it was the first Greek 300 movie, I've always been fascinated with Leonidas and the whole story. There is no better, stronger story about Greece to me. So when I missed the first one and I got called for the second one, I was like, of course I'm coming. I heard you also designed the triremes, the ships for the battle. Is we actually went to Greece. We called. There's a company, a group in Greece that built a trireme, and they gave us the blueprint of the original Greek trireme, uh, Olympia, the trireme Olympia, which is fabulous. We took that. I wanted to match exactly the way the trireme were built. In this movie, the Greeks are very. As, as accurate as it could be. The Persian world is completely crazy because we decided that the Persians are going to be designed the way the Greeks see the Persian, not the way the Persian were. We created like pieces of ground for the guys to fight. Little outside Sparta, they were, little, we built like huge ground floor on stage where all the guys were battling on. And it was so great because I remember one day I brought an olive tree in there. We put it down, we put a certain kind of grass and I looked at it, I was like, I was in Greece. I, I was so picky about the type of dirt, this is Sparta, this is going to be Athens, it's a different type. I became obsessed with the ground, the, 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 the dirt, and I, that was my thing because, you know, it means a lot to me. I miss Greece. I used to go a lot. Um, uh, my daughters are there now. I've got two crazy daughters. I'll, Zoe Tatopoulos is a dancer, and, and uh, Zoe and Nico, they both live in Greece. They're coming back in a month. They're moving back to the States, but they are so Greek, it's not even funny. I directed The Underworld a few years back, and I've got project developing for a while. Actually, I stopped the project to do Batman, Superman. It, it's very, very crazy for me to say that I want, being a director and trying to be more of a director, that I decided to pass on that movie to do this. But you know, Batman, Superman, how many times in your lifetime, especially as a designer, you get a chance to, to work on a movie like that. No so I pushed this movie, it's coming back to me at the end of Batman, Superman. So the directing is in the air. I can tell you there's a couple of projects, one that I co-wrote with a, um, a partner friend of mine, a very great writer, Mark Smith. Uh, it's called Feral. It's a very special project that I'm trying to make this my next uh, movie. I have a movie written already, finished, uh, that I wrote with a, a, a friend of mine, a Greek writer, that's called Shadows of Money. It's a very, very special story. It's a very intimistic story. In a sense, it's very European. It's small. It doesn't require much money. And I'll be able to go back to money and shoot it. So. And the thing is, you do this, but you cannot drop doing what you do best. You know, I gotta keep designing, so you have to find ways to shove everything together. How does it feel uh, to be engaged to a Greek Frenchman, but he told us he feels more Greek? It's super exciting. I, I'm gonna love my new last name someday. <laughs> on Face Off, the first time I ever said his name, I was so nervous going out on stage to say his name, I kept practicing it over and over, because the contestants all know who this guy is. So I go out there... But she did. I botched it so bad, the contestants yelled at me. And they said, it's Tatopoulos. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it right. So I completely botched his last name the first time I had to introduce him. I'm sorry, honey. Are you guys going to have a big fat Greek wedding anytime soon? But of course. <laughs> I'd like to have one in Greece. It'd be wonderful. We're going to have one here. And then uh, we have France and Greece. <laughs>